I'm Lawrence Vandervolk. I represent Volkland and Cattle, co-owners with my wife Sherry. I would recommend SDI to anyone who was interested in the future of irrigation. I think that uh, our project was 625 acres, apparently the largest single unit of irrigation in North America being a 625 acre field in one unit. We had Southern Irrigation install our system. Uh, we walked into their office one day, asked them if they had anything to do with drip and they informed me that they did and the rest was history. After last year, we realized the importance of drip, the importance of irrigation. I have no pivots. Uh, I never irrigated previously. So after seeing what we did last year, what was the result of the work of SDI, we decided to go ahead with an additional quarter. So currently we're plowing in another 160 acres. The dry land this year would have been a disaster. We got less than four inches of rain, so there wouldn't have been much of a crop. The hay probably would not have been worth cutting. Yields on the winter wheat, probably less than 20. Southern Irrigation was great. They gave me lots of support. I really appreciated our 6.30 Monday morning meetings out in the field. Uh, we did soil moisture probing. Uh, to our surprise, we discovered that even with the extreme heat, that we were getting and the lack of moisture that we really only needed in total 11 and a half inches and we stopped irrigating August the 12th. The profile was basically empty when we started and we finished the season with a full profile. SDI, there's a nickname for it, it's called 30-30-30. 30% less water, 30% less operating costs, 30% more productivity. Uh, we started with, as I said, with an empty profile, 11 and a half inches, and we had no problems keeping up. The people, their work ethic, hands down, bar none, number one. I think every dollar that you spend towards irrigation, no matter what system you use, is going to be a big benefit in southern Alberta. It certainly was for me. We managed to have the system up and running in the driest year in history and I originally thought this is a home run. I think it was a grand slam.